Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm gonna take you through the blue maze. Or, sorry, the, the, the lost cave. The maze. The, the, the thing. The tropics cave. <laughs> it's gonna be the maze. Um, so, last, last time we left off, we had just named uh, Red Box, which is now Code Red. As you can tell, I don't have him with me, and that's because I don't want him getting lost down in the caves. I know he's a little confused sometimes. We'll just turn on our lights so we can see a little bit. All right, I'm heading down into the cave right now. I know you guys can't see it that well, but don't worry. I'll stop at the first turn and we will go through this one at a time. So right here is where the uh, the place splits. I'm going to, let's see, let's go to scene, go to Roblox capture, right click filters, turn those filters on. Well, that might be, that's a little too bright. Okay, hold on. Uh, no, turn that one down like that. Okay. Close. A little bit of movie magic here. Done. Sweet. Okay. So now I can see all the different paths. Um, right here, this is this is where you come down into the, uh, ca the cave at. I'm going to take this first right, then left, and I'm just going to follow this on around across the top and I think we went the wrong way nope I didn't go the wrong way take a right right here follow it around there should be door number one possibly yep there's door number one so back it up follow this wall on the right all the way down and to the left and we're just gonna follow this right wall all the way around or at the top of the Y or top of the T-bone. And it Y's off right here. We're going to follow this one to the left. And there should be door number three and door number two. Good, good. All right. Back it all the way up. Straight path. And this right here, this little like U-turn up, if you turn to the right, right here's where we came in at just the bottom side of it. So see this this brick that's right here in the center? This is just a circle to kind of confuse you. If you look, right here is the entrance. And this first path right here just goes in a big wide circle right back around to where we just were. So those are just there to confuse you, okay? Now on this one, we go straight down Right there's the path to go to the paintings. We're not going to go to the back of the cave. To the left is doors number six and seven. To the right is four and five. So let's go to the right, straight across. Don't go down this, okay. Don't go down, this is where we came straight across at, right there. Don't go down there, because you'll get stuck. Let's take a look, that one's closed. And, oh gosh, I can't see around the corner. That one's closed. So four and five are closed. Oh, this isn't looking good. Not good. It's only a Monday, these shouldn't be closed. So when you're done with that, come straight across and right there. Okay, so that one's seven. Six is supposed to be right there, but as you can tell, it's not open. Oh no, it's closed. No, no. Does that mean all paths are closed? Let's see. We did one, two, Okay, this is six and seven. We know are closed. Seven, six. Oh, this is not good. Five and... No, that was four. This one's five. Five, four. Let's go back around, take a left. And we're gonna take this first left. Heads back up into the main part. There's our exit. Take a left here, and doors number three, number two, oh no. Take this, this is the bottom part of the wire, the wishbone. Take a right, then a left at the top of this, and you'll end back up at the top of the map. Take a right, follow it around, whoa. 
Oh no. All paths are closed. So that was doors number one. Oh, oh, hold on. By the way, uh, the way I'm doing the filtering with the, uh, the light is OBS. I'm looking at OBS. I'm not looking at my screen. My screen is pitch black. Oops, 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 oops. Wrong way. There we go. Down this direction. Around across the wishbone. Closed. That's just to the top of the wishbone. And closed. Wow. Hmm. There's no way out. No escape. No. Bottom of the wishbone. Top of the wishbone. Out to the right side of the wishbone. What's going on this way? Oh, that's just the... Okay, that's back to the entrance. This is the main area. So, let's just explore the cave while we're down here. This is the main area to the cave. Right up here, if you... Let's see. If you go to the right... This will split off. One goes to the back of the cave. The other one heads up here. This is the cave entrance. Or sorry, the cave teleport. Oh, whoa, whoa, come here. Right here. Boink. That teleport will take you back across to the safari. If you jump up in it, in it like this. Something like, like this, like this. Woo! Okay. I'm I'm not the bestest at this. There we go. Okay. That did not work. And jump. There we go. So right there. If you look down there at the bottom, there's actually like a box down there that once you hit it, you'll be teleported to the uh to the safari over in the main biome. So that's the main part to it. Um, the cave doors do open and close um, as to how they are, like what day of the week it is and how it loads in. Right here at the back of this side, you can't take a car into it because you'll get stuck, but this does like a little S pattern. Leads out to the other back side of the maze over by where the paint shop is. And we'll go we'll go explore over there. For now, right here, this left, heads back down into the main part of the cave. Right there. Oh, right. Where is it? Where is it? Right there's how to get to the first set of doors. Right here's the exit. And boom, exit. Here, let's go to the paint shop. Why not? Right here. We'll go this direction. And we're going to go left, left, left. Right. Left. Left. And right. Booyah. Hello, paint shop. Whoa. Okay. Now we can turn off our filters. Boink, like that. Now we can see normal. Yay. Hello. Hello, Timothy. Hello, sir. What have you got for sale? I've got lovely paintings today. Some of the finest artwork you've ever seen. Oh, I see. You have a boat. Oh, I could buy a boat. Can I buy a boat? It's a boat painting, sir, but yes. Okay. And the boat painting is 5,000. Mm, that's a little steep, Timothy. Well, sir, these are fine works of art. Oh, true, true. This one's 2006, Disturbed Painting. Can you tell me more about this one? Well, it's by Henry G. Keller, and it's done in watercolors. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. And what about the finger paint? Is that, is that finger paint? No, Outdoors Watercolor Sketch by Bill, Bill Palm. How much was that? Six dollars. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful bargain. I will take that, Timothy. Good choice, sir. Oh, thank you. 
Uh, let's see, yes. By the way, there are no new paintings. These are all paintings that we have seen before. If we look through the walls, we, oh, oh, maybe if we can look through the walls. Can't look through the walls, no! Why can't I see through the walls? Oh, there's, wait. Is there a thing like right behind it? I can't see through the walls. No. Hmm. That was strange. What about the, uh, the shift lock menu? Can we turn on shift lock? All right. Shift. There we go. There we go. Now we can see behind stuff. So as you can see, there's nothing hidden back behind here. Nothing weird. Parts of the cave. But I mean, that's not weird. That's just normal. And right here. Blink. Yep. That's why we couldn't see. It's like pressed right up against the wall, so it's double layered. That's why. Okay. So let's take that off. Let's go back to settings. Love the music. Turn off that. There we go. So I did promise some blue wood. I'm not going to be able to do it. So I'm not going to tag blue wood inside this particular episode. But I will tag uh, the maze path for now. Oh no, it's super bright. Why can't I see anything? Well, it's because I got everything turned on. Okay. Uh, I'm actually just going to see if I can't get myself a little bit lost throughout here. Because the back side of the cave, I don't really know all that well. well. So let's just travel around through it. Hope I don't get stuck. That is a way to get stuck right there. Let me tell you. Wow. Nope, not going that way. What about this way? Turn, 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 turn. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, man. We're going to get stuck stuck, aren't we? I'm not going to be able to squeeze through there. No. Actually, that wasn't too bad. What about that direction? Ooh. Is there something back here? Nothing back here. Go forward. Ooh. We're just flying around here, aren't we? Okay, that just looks like a dead end. So, back the way that we came. By the way, I am just traveling this really fast because I'm not afraid of getting lost. If you keep traveling, you'll eventually see something that is familiar to you. And if you play around down here enough, I mean, you could just traverse this thing all day long. There. Oh, let's go this way. What's this way? It's just I don't travel the back of the map that often, which I probably should travel a lot more. Let's go along the left-hand wall. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, hello. It's a long hallway. Oh, that's the paint shop. Yay! Okay, so we found our way out. If I keep going straight, I'd take a left on the next juncture, right there. And that would take me back out. So instead of going left, let's go to the right. Like this. There we go. Let's travel back here. Okay, nothing that direction. So, that first turn is just a dead end. Hmm. Oh well. All right, what happens? Okay, right here, this is that main little section. All right, here's the exit. Boink, right there, exit. Still got my picture on me. I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna take a left again. Left, 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 good. And I'm just gonna follow the left wall. I think that was, that's the dead end. Following the left wall is a dead end. Okay, cool. The left goes to a dead end. Middle one heads to the paint shop. Let's go to the right. What happens to the right? To the right, to the right, to the right. Oh, it's the back end of door number seven. Wait, is that door number seven? Hold up. Yeah, okay, so right here's the, the main path. Back up that direction is the uh, the cave entrance. Cave entrance is that direction. The uh, ooh, paint shop is that direction. So this is the 
curve that you'd take to go down to door number six and door number seven. And as you saw before, they are closed. Boink. So if you go this direction, whoa. And then to the right, that leads to the paint shop, yay! So paint shop will be off to our left. Right there. Let's go to the right. This goes... Where does this go? Dead end. Okay, so that's a dead end. Just kind of traveling through here. I really could just map this all out in my head. Not really trying too hard at the moment. And all of this gets gets lost back here. There's only one place that it actually like goes across to the second area, the, the north part of the cave. Where the teleport and stuff are. And that is through a itty bitty crack. That you can't fit a truck through. Well, that's a dead end. Nice. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's go ahead and head back. Oh man, my apologies about not being able to get the blue wood this time. Bye Timothy! Bye Sa! And... Come on, almost there. There we are. To the right. To the right again, and on out. That's beautiful. So, if you don't have this memorized and you do still need a map, head on over to the Wikia page. Shout out to the Wikia guys, Lumber Tycoon 2 Wikia. They've got a map over there that was hand drawn by Jerix. Oh, sorry for the brightness, sorry for the brightness. Sorry, 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 sorry. Right click, let's go to filters, and hide the filter, hide the filter, there we go, um, On OBS, all you have to do is, whatever scene is playing, you just right click on it, go to filters, do color correction, turn up the gamma and the brightness. Again, go to the scene that you want to change, which is the Roblox screen, hit the filters, or right click on the scene, hit filters, then hit um, brightness, or color correction, and brightness. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. Why not? How much are these? Sorry, this is Link's logic, by the way. Hello, Link. 720? Hmm, that was expensive. Gonna need to switch, aren't I? Wait, where did it go? Did I not? Oh, I didn't purchase it. <laughs> Silly. This is silly. Okay, there we go. Grab that. Okay, Link. Yes, I will purchase it this time. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That way I can have at least one, one wire for while I'm over there. Do I need anything else at the moment? There's nothing else I really need. I mean, I could purchase some things. But not at the moment. Any and switches? I us I'm usually in need of and switches. Like this and that. Inverters? No? Alright. Link, I think I'm good for today. Alright, bye bye. <laughs> bye, Link. Alright, let's go. So, um, does this qualify as a speed run? Probably not. I mean,. There's probably a lot of lot more people that have done this a lot faster than I have. Wait, was that Link? Or was that uh, Hoover? Is Hoover leaving or coming back? <gasps> Yay, he's coming back. Hoover, just in time, buddy. All right. So here comes Hoover to take us home and give us the awesome news that the cave will be open tomorrow. <laughs> I, d I don't know if it'll actually be open tomorrow or not, but... That's just what I'm going to say. I'll say that it will be open for tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Play Lumber Tycoon 2. Slot 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, Fresh Start, Solo Mission, blah, 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 blah,
Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Also, if you're looking for one of these t-shirts, um, the Code Primate t-shirts and stuff like that, I do have a link down in the description. I haven't done the official launch yet, but they're still there and they're purchasable and you can buy them and they're awesome. So, um, oh, uh, if you want to, if you want to see me with the products first, I'll tell you like the quality and stuff like that. No pressure to actually go and do any of this stuff. That's just what I'm supposed to shout out because YouTubers do that, right? Maybe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.